Hi again, everyone. It's Teresa Sigmund, founder and designer of Seam Sensational. And today I have with me Leslie Peterson, and we are going to be discussing things that you need to look out for when you're considering buying a used ball gown. Now, curiously, this is a dress that I made for Leslie somewhere around 1998 or 99, mm -hmm. and she has lost quite a bit of weight since then, and the dress has, of course, gone out of fashion. So what we're going to talk about today is what to look out for if you're considering buying a dress. At a glance, this actually seems to fit pretty well overall in the waist and the bust area. The skirt is really outdated, so that's the first thing you should look out for. Because skirts are no longer this full, you will have to take time to go in and either rip out the boning or cut off the boning. In this case, the skirt is hitting just Oh, it's about an inch or so above the ankle bone. So I would take the time, if Leslie were going to buy this dress from herself, <laughs> I would take the time to rip out the boning so that I didn't lose any skirt length. If Leslie, if this dress were a couple inches longer and I had the leeway, I would just cut off the boning just to speed up the process. But because I need every bit of length, I would want, you would have to have the time commitment to rip out all this boning. You would then want to go in and take in a lot of this skirt fullness on each of the eight panels. There are eight panels that does require removing the rhinestones, reshaping the skirt. Okay, so you've got a significant time commitment in updating the skirt. However, overall, at a glance, it seems to be worth that energy because it's a really classic with a twist dress. Shows up great on the floor. The elastic falling off her shoulder is definitely an issue to consider when you're buying it. If you know how to go in and fix that issue, great, and if not, it's a problem. The reason this is falling off on her is because her bust is quite a bit smaller than it was when I first made the dress for, so she no longer fills it out. Therefore, it's too loose. If you can look right in here, it's really too loose in this area. And same thing over here, though it's not as predominant because of the ruffle. So if you were a perfectionist about your fit, you would want to go in and pop out part of the sleeve and take the seam in, and then actually just pop this little, I've got a little stitch here. Um, so you would want to take that in. Sleeve length is good, so you wouldn't have to worry about losing any rhinestones and then having to replace them. The overall tightness of the sleeve, if I were making it from scratch, I would make it a smidge tighter, but for this purpose, I think it's awesome. Leave it. If you really come in here and look at this dress closely, it's really pretty loose. But because I cut it on the bias, it still hangs really nicely. So you don't necessarily have to do anything to the bodice because it still fits pretty well. Now, one thing that you'll notice is that there is a leotard underneath this dress, and it is separate from the dress itself. And that does a couple of things. So it gives her a really nice smooth line. It fill, you know, it nicely camouflages any of those lumps and bumps that we don't necessarily want to show. But as far as your alterations go, if you're considering buying this for a used dress, because Leslie has lost so much weight, this is really quite large. And there's quite a bit of room. I mean, I can easily get my hand in here and pull this out. So you might want to go in and take in the leotard a little bit on each of the seams to pull it up. And if I can have Leslie flash you her rear end, bless her heart, she's agreed to do this on film. She's got kind of a baggy butt, okay? Because, I mean, she's lost quite a bit of weight. So you would want to go in and you may possibly need to reshape the trunks after you've taken it in. If you get lucky, then you won't have to do all that. But, go ahead, you can go ahead and drop that. Let's turn around and we'll see the back. The back actually <laughs> looks really, really nice in that there's no back cleavage or anything like that showing. It's a little bit loose, but it's always better to have your back loose than too tight. If it's too tight, then you start getting this back cleavage. 
you know, where the skin gushes over the dress and it's not attractive. So if you're buying a used dress and you've got back cleavage, you might want to consider not getting it because the back is so predominant in dancing and skating. Back here, everything fits well other than the actual skirt volume of the dress. So go ahead and turn back around. What an awesome dress. I love this splash mm -hmm. of orange because it really is just classic with a twist. If Leslie were considering buying this as a used dress and doing the alterations and therefore saving some money, I would say it's a worthwhile investment, but you do have to weigh that against the time needed to do your alterations. So if you're getting a nice price on the dress, and I think a nice price would, would be somewhere between maybe $800 and $1,200 for this used, because it is in excellent shape, there aren't even any snags. It looks like it's never been worn. It's not even missing any stones. Correct. Yay, and I do have a program teaching you how to glue on your rhinestones so they don't fall off. Literally, this is like 98 and you're not missing a rhinestone. Incredible. Um, so if you are going to buy this dress, say for between $800 and $1,200 or even less, I would go ahead and get it because I think it's a worthwhile investment as far as the alterations needed. But that does, you know, change according to whatever your body shape is and your dress is, but at least you have an idea of what to look for and whether or not your time versus dollar value is there. So that is it for today's training. I hope this has served you well and that you can take away some nuggets of information that might help you purchase a smarter dress for your body shape and size. Thanks so much and I'll see you a later time.